going on YouTube? Buck Rub here and welcome to another edition of Buck Wild Trucking. I am at the uh, Maverick Terminal in uh, Laurenburg, North Carolina where I'm getting ready to take my load <coughs> to Houston, Texas. But they're, uh, my truck wouldn't start this morning so they are replacing my batteries and while I'm waiting on that thought I'd take a few minutes to uh, show you the trailers that we use in hauling glass. I've had several people ask me about it so I figured I'd just uh, run through and show you. Ron, this is dispatch. Here's what's known as our G series. It's a flatbed trailer and it's got two sets of racks for four different sections of stoses. It can haul the stoses on the uh, two racks and can also haul crates or whatever on the back of it. It's got tarp boxes, etc. And really, the only difference between this trailer and a regular flatbed is this rack on the front. Now this uh, trailer can also haul, you know, lumber or coils or whatever. You just have to take these racks down. And that's why we have this rack on the front. Those racks will come down and they can be strapped to the front. Uh, you can also just take a, a few of these sections down and, uh, and haul uh, something flatbed on the, on the back. Or a lot of times we'll haul just crates and these will have to come down. It's pretty easy. Each rack has three bolts, and then they're drugged to the front, tied to the front. But this is our G series. The only real problem with the G series is that it can only haul glass that's 96 inches tall because you can't put the extenders on the top, or you'll have trouble with uh, clearance issues. You'll be above 13.6 if you put the extenders on a flatbed trailer. This is our S series. It's a step deck trailer, as you can see. It hauls but basically everything that the flatbed does. It has the tarp boxes and everything, it has the two sets of racks. It can also be used as a flatbed. But being that it's a step deck, you can haul taller glass by adding those extenders to the top. Now, if you do need to use this as a flatbed, again, those racks will be removed strapped to this front rack but once you do that those extenders have to be taken down or again you're going to have clearance issues this is our s series step deck this here's what's known as the dgl this is my favorite trailer mainly the reason it's my favorite trailer is because that tarp where the other two have to be individually tarped with glass tarps this has one that's strapped to the front of the up to the front of the trailer and it's just pulled over the glass. The bottom part, this skirt comes up and ties up to protect the bottom. And then that tarp is drug all the way across it to cover the glass and then it's secured on the sides. Uh, it's a heavy trailer. You don't get real good fuel mileage when you're using it. Uh, the DGL also has the platform stand where you can stand up there to pull your tarp as well as having the storage box where all of your straps and your uh, stop blocks and stuff can all be put into. Uh, this is my particular favorite trailer. This is what I'll be taking to Houston today. Uh, this is the, uh, the step decks. Are the, it's also a step deck. As you can see, it's a double drop. And uh, it can haul individual stoses in uh, four different sections, or this one can also haul jumbos, which is our large glass. Um, this, is, this is one of my favorites, I like this one. Easy to put up, easy to take down. A lot of people don't like them, but I've never figured out why. This trailer's our DG. 
it's just like the DGL. The only difference is you have to put this ladder up front and rear to be able to pull and uh, pull your tarps back and to put your tarps back on if you don't have anybody to pull them. And this does not have a storage box. When we put the DGs away, rather than folding the tarp, the skirt around the bottom like this, we drape the skirt to protect the stuff that can't get wet. I have nothing really wrong with this. It's kind of uh, kind of tough to pull the tarps with that little cheesy ladder. Uh, and uh, But it's easier to drape these things, uh, the skirt. And um, again, not a bad trailer. Very similar to the DGL. This trailer is called the DG5. It's basically just like a DG other than it's got a Conestoga on it. It's a double drop trailer. This Conestoga rolls forward and rolls back. It's got a little deck on the bottom, and these are on the back, I'm sorry. And these are usually used by our dedicated guys. I very, very seldom get to pull one of these. These are usually preloaded at the factory. This little area here rolls up and flops over the top. Then it's loaded, strapped down, and you don't have to tarp these. Very nice to use. Not all of them work real well. These rollers don't always work well, but it's a it's a handy tool. This one here is an FC. It's a Conestoga, just like the uh, DG5 that I showed you. The difference is, is this Conestoga is on a flat bed, so it's a lot taller. Uh, this one does not have the double drop like the other one does, and again, it's used for hauling uh, shorter glass. a DCL. It's very similar to the DGL except this trailer can be converted to a flatbed. If you'll see this flatbed here how it's laying down but it's got the racks underneath it. These racks will fold up and it'll get rid of the flatbed and turn this into a DG style trailer with the skirt and the tarp that goes across it. This trailer is very heavy um, and, and I absolutely hate pulling these things. They're nightmare to deal with. Most of the trailers that we do use in this series, the, uh, the flatbed parts have been folded up and uh, welded where they won't lower again. If you look in the back, they've got many of these stacked up on top of each other back there. Those are all DCLs and that's the best place for them, stacked up in a field not being used. Um, from what I'm told, these trailers got decommissioned and weren't being used anymore, but then they recommissioned some of them, and these are what we take a lot of our DG loads to Mexico, and I'm, I'm told the reason we take them to Mexico is even the Mexicans won't steal them. So, and I have noticed that to be true. Uh, we've, every one of them comes back the same. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the DCL, and I hate this trailer. And this is that DGL I showed you earlier. This is it folded up, all tarped up and ready to go. Uh, my batteries have been replaced and I'm ready to roll, but I figured I would show you this real quick, that this is what the DGL looks like when the tarp all pulled back and tied. It's got a tightening strap on the front. It doesn't come completely loose there. in various spots. The tarp's pulled back and tied together right here and then we have these zipper lines here which can be tightened up to make everything nice and tight going down the road. Uh, I was securing these at the bottom with bungee cords but I found that with bungee cords I couldn't really get it as tight as I wanted it and these things really pick up air and they really hurt my fuel mileage. Um, you can see as with most tarps you end up losing D-rings so some of them are about to go 
out of place, but I find roping them is easier and I actually get better fuel mileage. So when I take this tarp off, I will unhook it from the back. I'll, I'll loosen all these zippers, all these zippers that I showed you, and I'll take it completely loose and kind of fold it towards the front. Undo everything at the bottom, pull the skirt, and then I will climb up that ladder. There's handful strips up there at the top. existing ropes which I'll take loose here uh, will end up wrapping around the frame under there and that's how all that will be secured. The bottom skirt will be rolled up and put in place and then all the equipment will be put there in the box. So all my batteries are replaced. I'm ready to get the hell out of here. Um, I'll do another video and let everybody know how my uh, two weeks is gone but I've had a a lot of people asking about uh, the trailers we use and, and how we actually haul this glass. So I figured I'd put this together. So until next time, I'm Buck Rub. Out.